What's up, guys? I'm going to get straight into it. Love Island Australia, season three, episode three, was popping. You know when they say don't ever judge a book by its cover? I might have judged these two new bombshells very quickly. Chris and Mitch, at first, when they got on the date with Ari and the other girl, that her name just always seems to skip me, Courtney. Finally, they're giving your girl some camera time. I thought, you know what? These boys might be suffering from pretty boy privilege from when you're telling me that you can't pop champagne. And then I had a rethink. I said, you know what? The guy says he works in right control. The other Donny says he used to play professional Australian football. It sort of makes sense. Based on his body conditioning, that is. Uh, what's his name? Mitch. From when your boy is beating Taku and arm wrestling, the guy is going to be a problem. However, he has a default nervous laugh, which suggests to me that he doesn't know how good he is. No homo. Now, did he pay the production? Because I'm not being funny, but that little challenge, he seemed to be getting everybody wet. All I'm saying is all the girls want a bit of your boy, Mitch. Now, the other Donnie, Chris, he said two words, Harry Potter, and your girl, the content creator, Rachel, seems to have fallen in love. Now, what's more worrying to me? Your boy, Jordan, what's happened to his mentality? He seems troubled. He seems like he needs help. It looked like he was crying in the diary room. I'm not going to lie. From when you're getting emotionally vulnerable to Rachel. Rachel asked you a simple question, Jordan. Are you still feeling me? Jordan's still thinking about Jess, who's moved on to the boy, Aaron. So Jordan, bro, you don't want Rachel. You don't want Jess. On top of that, bro, you're crying about the situation. Beta. My friend, you might need to go home and you need to see somebody about that, bro. There's something going on with Jordan. He's fighting internal battles. And that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Tina basically shut down the situation with Ronnie. I said it basically yesterday. Ronnie's too weak. Ronnie's too feminine. Ronnie's too beta. Ronnie needs to be careful. <laughs> Seems the guys are feeling Tina as well. I'm just saying. She basically shut him down. Ronnie, he's smart enough to see that she was trying to friends on him. However, he also thought that the situation was good. So Ronnie's not really reading it as he should be. Feel a bit sorry for Ari today. No, I don't. I'll be honest with you. I don't. She caught feelings for Ryan. To be fair, I've summed Ari up. She's the type of guy to catch feelings with guys. She'll sleep with them, fall in love, and these guys let her go. It's two, it's day two, guys. It's day two. And she talks like her and Ryan have been together forever. And then she goes on a date with the poster boy, should we call him now? And all of a sudden, all I'm saying is I think Ari just needs to do a bit more work. Or just stop caring so much. Ryan, 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 Ryan. Bro, you went from the best thing since sliced bread, bro. Number one draft pick. All of a sudden, bro. You're looking like all the regular Donnies. You see, when you hang around with beta males, that simp virus is contagious, bro. The girls said they went on dates with two new guys. All the girls are gassed. They can't wait. Vaginas dripping. Yeah, I get it, bro. But why are you concerned about external factors that you cannot control, bro? You got Lexi, who's basically a liability. And you've got Ari, who's in love. Bro, you still got two options. But your brain's getting scrambled because all the other Donnies around you are getting scrambled. Don't let them ruin your mentality, bro. And that's all I'm saying. Lexi... Every time I see Lexi, I feel like she's full of streets. Am I being harsh? I don't get it with her. I just see someone that's easy. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What, what are your genuine impressions on Lexi so far? Taku, bro. 
we like you because you run commentary like you're watching yourself on TV. But bro, you better start packing your bags, bro. You are done out here very shortly. You, and actually, I don't blame Taku, actually. I, I think the, the villa, the house is generally too nice. It seems like a university type vibe. Like everyone's friends with everybody. Yeah, we sleep with each other. But everybody knows that nobody's taking anybody seriously. It just seems too pally pally for me. Bro, I like the fact that you know that you need to work. But bro, is it funny that you know that you need to work? Or is that laughter? I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. Bro, you're probably going home very soon. However, I see the little teaser for tomorrow. Obviously, I know what's happening. I haven't seen the episode yet. I'm going to drop that review as soon as I watch it. But Aaron's obviously threatened by your connection that you have with Jess on that date. No problem, bro. How are you going to do with it? That is, the, that is the question. All right, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. As long as you keep watching, I'll keep dropping them. Peace.